Hi everybody, this is Josh from NWA3D, and I'm talking to you today about the uh, Creality Hot End. This is in the Ender 3, the CR10, all kinds of their printers. And uh, I want to talk to you about something that everyone needs to be aware of because there's an issue with this hot end from the factory. And I posted about this before, but I just now got around to making a nice little uh, example so that it could be really clear. So here's here's what we're talking about. So this is the hot end, and I've cut away the inside there. So you can see how the PTFE tube goes all the way down in and actually rests against the back of the hot end. So when you put your filament in, it goes in all the way to the hot end through that PTFE tube, and there's no uh, there's no gap there. But what happens is from the factory there tends to be a gap where this tubing isn't seated all the way and so when that when that coupler comes up it pulls the tube with it like that see what I'm talking about here so watch me up at the top of the tube pull it up like this when the coupler seats it actually pulls up the PTFE tube and it leaves a gap about yay big so the problem is after <coughs> or if that's there and you heat up the plastic then you end up with one of these and this is a PTFE gap plug and you can see it's kinda it's kinda gross because it has burnt plastic and stuff in there and so what happens is that gap is in this is in the hot end and then the plastic goes in there and it melts inside the hot end let me get this back together here and you end up with a plug like that inside your hot end. So you see that disc right there? So that disc is what causes the problem and that plastic gets trapped in there and it just rolls around and rolls around and it doesn't ever go anywhere. Here's another view of it right here. That's an actual hot end with a factory PTFE gap still in uh, still in the nozzle and this is so prominent that I actually have all of these that I've pulled out of Creality printers in recent history so these are all the same thing and I've pulled them all out of the printers these are from the factory so what needs to happen I guess from a quality control standpoint is you know, obviously, when we put when these hot ends are assembled, somehow it needs to be done so that that PTFE tube is all the way in when this coupler is seated, when those teeth bite in. So one way that I do it is I actually push it just a little bit further out of the tube, like about that much. And then I actually pull, and when it seats it, it pulls it in pretty flush, pretty near flush. So that's how you'd fix that. So that's all I had for you. Just wanted to show you this cool little cutaway model I, I put together just a bit ago. Uh, hopefully that clears it up for everybody. And uh, yeah, maybe we can start getting these things nice and flush from the factory. Who knows?